What's going on? What's going on, guys? I'm feeling real good. To God be the glory. I'm up another day. I'm ready to work. I'm ready to make it happen. It's my time. It's your time. It's our time. <clears throat> that new business you want to start? Good. Start it. You want to get out of debt? Good. Start getting out of debt. Start taking more jobs. Start a company. You want to be an actor? Start getting a proper training. You want to be a musician? Start taking piano lessons, guitar lessons, drum lessons, violin lessons. Whatever it takes, start on it. The main thing you need to do is to create a vision board. You create a goal tracker. So by this time, I have to accomplish this small goal. By this time, I need to accomplish this medium goal. And by this time, I need to accomplish this long-term goal. Okay, start writing things down. Be very clear, be very um, internal and deliberate on your actions every single second of every single minute of every single hour of the day. That's the only way you're gonna do it because consistency is key. Forget about your past, forget what happened, let it all go, shake it off. You lost your girl, you lost your business, let it go. Stop talking about it. Stop telling your friends about the same shit for, for years. Stop talking about the same stuff. Move on. You want to be the man you want to be. <coughs> you need to move on. You need to focus and you need to praise God every day, man. We live in a wicked world. You know, I always tell my friends, especially... When you live in the hood, I don't live in the hood no more, thank God. But when you live in the hood, the devil cast a spell on the hood, man. So it's important. When you're in the hood and you're still struggling, you're trying to get out of that, you got to really focus and protect your energy and don't tell people your business. And that's what I learned from my brother. Keep things quiet. Take your time. You will slip up because you're transforming into a new person. So don't beat yourself up in the head. Stay the course, stay focused. You got this. All right? Let me tell you something about prayer, bro. Let me tell you something about prayer. When you by yourself and you talking to the most high, you talking to your father that created all things. They say man built, built the world. Well, God built the man to build the world. You understand? So who's higher than that? Make sure you talk to God every day bro i speak to god five times a day man five times a day and i don't give that time up for nobody i don't care who you are you know what i'm saying i don't care who you are make sure you pray bro even if you don't know how to pray figure it out you know what i'm saying learn speak to other people just close your eyes and point to the sky you know what i mean there's no necessarily right way to pray. You know what I mean? I know different religions have a, a, a ritual of, of, of prayer, a ritual of prayer. But just, just close your eyes. Get on your knees, man. You know what I mean? Be subservient to the Most High, man. All praises to God, man. Read your Bible. Read your Quran. Read your Torah. Speak to other people of different faiths. You don't have to agree with everybody, but it's good to learn and have a broad knowledge about different sects of religions. So you have an understanding of what they're going through, their trials and tribulations. But this year is my year, your year, our year. And we need to focus and we need to make all of our dreams come true because we only got one life, man. We got one life. That's all we got is one life. One life. One life. And it's very unfortunate the people we grew up with, our loved ones, our family, our friends, are not able to enjoy life right now for whatever reason that happened to them. They're not here. We all got family and friends that passed away through, get, through, through gangs, through violence, through uh, health. We got all of that. 
And it's unfortunate. May God bless their spirit, for real. So when you got an opportunity to wake up in the morning, don't take that for granted. Do it for them. Do it for your dead loved ones. Do it for your mom, your grandmother that passed away, your father that passed away. Because let me tell you, their spirit still lives on, man. Every time you close your eyes and you think of them, man, they talking to you. They still around. They still rooting for you. So they not they may not be here in a physical form, but they here in spirit. And you got to remember that. Anyway, I'm going to get it started. We're going to make some money today. To God be the glory. Go get your greatness!